Hey folks, this is Casey and I'm one Mellow Marigold and I got a whole lot of pears for free. Let's do something with them. Listen, if it's free, it's for me. If it's free, it's for me, including pears. So yesterday, old Dwayne gives me a call. He's the gentleman who sold me my riding lawnmower. And he says, Casey, I got a couple of pear trees. You said you might be interested. They're starting to ripen. Do you want to come over and get some? And I'm like, do I want to come over and get some? Are you telling me you're not even going to use them? And he's like, we just, we need a few fresh. Come over and see what we got. So I did. So he said, come on over before the deer get them. I brought my five gallon bucket. He even got out the ladder and helped pick some from the top while I picked from the bottom. So I totally enjoy pears. I am looking forward to canning quite a bunch, but I wanna see what else we can make from this too. To start with, I am going to go through the bucket and I'm gonna lay them out on my table. Um, some of them are getting ripe and are pretty soft. Others like this guy are still pretty green and need to sit for a bit. No way. New day, clean kitchen. We got all of our supplies. Let's get canning some of these pears. As I mentioned, we're going to do sliced pears in a late syrup first because that's kind of my favorite. And I want to make sure we get a lot of it. So I'm going to be using the measurements from the wise guide. Since these pears are smaller and I'm one person in my house, I'm going to be using pint jars, but you could certainly use quart jars as well. I have got a bunch of jars in the process of being sterilized. They went through and they got all washed and cleaned first. And now I have got some sitting in the water bath canner sterilizing, and I've got some down in my oven sterilizing. So we'll have plenty of hot, clean jars. You're also gonna need to make your light syrup. So you're gonna need a pan with about six cups of water and then two thirds of a cup sugar mixed in. We're gonna put that on the stove we're gonna warm it up to get that sugar to dissolve and then we're just gonna keep it warm. It doesn't have to come to a full boil. We're gonna need supplies to remove the skins from the pears because I don't wanna volunteer to peel each one by hand. <laughs> no, so we are gonna use a scalding method. I have a pot of water that's coming up to a boil. I've got my big strainer and then I have got a pot that we're gonna put ice cubes in cold water with a little bit of lemon juice for when we peel the skins off. And then of course, I've got brand new lids for canning. I've got my water bath canner. I've got all my canning supplies. We're ready to go. I'm gonna start by putting in three pairs for 20 seconds, and then we pull it out and put them right in the ice bath. I counted in my head, could you tell? <laughs> right in the ice bath. And I have a feeling I'm gonna be able to do something with the cores and the peels. So I've got a little uh, measuring cup back here for... Okay, yeah, so the skins are definitely not just <laughs> rubbing off. I think we have to try that again. <laughs> okay. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Here we go. We can do it. The water's even more. And there we go. Back in the cold water. Okay. This is not working. <laughs> This is not working. I don't know if it's the pear. I don't know. <laughs> but it didn't, uh, this isn't working. When I've seen other YouTubers do this, when they brought it out of the cold, they could just rub the peel off and I cannot. So I don't know what that means. I don't. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> New plan. As with everything, you have got to be ready to have a backup plan in the kitchen. If something's not working for you, try a new method. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna get to peel in and through the lovely magic of video editing, da 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 There we go, we got them all sliced up. I was being a bit of a baby about peeling the pears that only took like 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, well. Now, we're gonna slice them off. Oh, that works much better. Okay. Just use your peeler if it's got a sharp edge. It's lovely. <laughs> Boop. 
Okay, we've got everything we need. We have got hot sterilized jars. We've got our pears. We have vinegar to wipe rims. We've got brand new lids to use. We've got our water bath canner simmering to the side so it's ready for jars when we are. At this point, you could just leave and can the pears in halves like this. I'm gonna keep slicing because that's just kind of what I like, but you don't have to do it. Keeping them in the lemon juice just keeps them from getting brown. If they get a little brown in the jar, it's not a big deal. It doesn't change the taste. It just doesn't look quite as nice, I guess. We got our jars full. It's time to use a ladle to put in our light sugar syrup. And I also like to remind myself where the headspace should be. So we're looking for a half inch of headspace. It's gonna be right about there. Here we go. You don't wanna put your pears in so packed that the syrup can't get in and around them. So if you get it up to the top and it's looking like the pears are just taking a little too much room, make sure you take some out. You wanna make sure we get a really nice good seal on these jars. No. Yes. Take that vinegar, wipe those rims. We put our band in, fingertip tight. Don't wrench it on, fingertip tight only. Fingertip tight. Let's get them in the canner. Now, you may have noticed that this looks an awful lot like a stock pot and not a canner per se. You are absolutely correct. <laughs> this is just a stock pot with a canning rack at the bottom. I'm one adult in this house. And while I definitely share with my neighbors, family, and friends, I don't need to can so much that I have to be able to fit like 12 or 16 jars in a single batch. It's perfectly sized for me. And honestly, a whole lot cheaper not having to buy so much equipment. We got them in, we're turning the heat back up, we're gonna bring it to a boil, we're gonna watch the little hole for steam to come out, and when it's steaming or if it's boiling so hard that it's topping the lid, it's time to start your counter. These are pint jars, so they would normally process for 20 minutes inside the canner. I am at a slightly higher elevation, so I'm adding five minutes to my time and I will process these for 25. Timer's gone off. I'm gonna turn off the burner and I'm gonna vent the lid. We're gonna let that chill out for five or six minutes, let the boil come down. While that's coming down a bit, I'm gonna pull the oven open and I'm gonna get some more sterilized jars because I've got, mm, I think maybe like four jars worth of pears left. So we'll do one more batch. Morning friends, this is day two of processing up all of those pears that I got from Old Duane. Yesterday we canned up the pear slices and we got nine pints out of roughly 10 pounds of pears or so. Um, overnight, I didn't film it, I just kind of went with the flow. You know, I had saved up all of those skins and all of those cores because I knew there would be something I could do with them. And last night it came to me, let's make up some pear syrup. So I did. I just put the skins in a pot, covered it, with water, added a little lemon juice, a couple of cinnamon sticks, uh, an anise pod, and just let it simmer for about 45 minutes and then steep in the pot overnight. I cannot wait. I cannot tell you how freaking good my kitchen smelled last night. So the plan for the day is I've got another 10 pounds of pears brought in. 
We're gonna work on pear sauce today. So we'll do that first. And then we are gonna reduce down the syrup and get that canned up too. Let's do it. I am getting faster at the peeling. It only took me 20 minutes today to get through 10 plus pounds. So I've got them in the cool lemon water again to keep them from browning. Uh, next step is to cut them in half, core them, and then just do rough chunks back into the pot. So let's get it. Ooh, slippery little suckers. Just like that, we're all done. We are cruising along. I am going to drain the lemon water out of the pot and then we're gonna get this on the burner and start cooking them down. I did leave about a half a cup of lemon water here in the bottom of the pan just to help keep the fruit from sticking as it's cooking down a little bit. Pears take longer than apples to cook down, so we're gonna sorta of stay close here in the kitchen and keep an eye stirring it. We don't want anything to burn on the bottom but this might take about 45 minutes or so. In the meantime, the jars are clean and in the oven, nice and warm and toasty, ready to go, as are the clean lids, the funnel, and everything else we'll need to use to can it up. I pulled these off the burner, let them cool down just a little bit. I'm gonna grab the immersion blender and we'll blend it all up. Uh, I'm gonna guess we might get three pints out of this. Maybe four, if we're lucky, but let's find out. Plugging it in. Plugging it in is helpful. Plugging it in is helpful. <laughs> okay, I obviously got to do a taste test. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's so good. Just pears. Definitely no sugar needed. Super sweet. Yay, let's get it canned up. Well, we didn't get four full ones and we don't ever process jars that can't meet the headspace. So this one, we're just going to cover and throw in the fridge and we'll just eat that for eating now. Fingertip tight, fingertip tight, fingertip tight. Into the canner they go. While the sauce is in the canner, we're gonna go ahead and get our syrup strained. I have a feeling if I pour this one pot directly, it's gonna make a big mess. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoop first. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. This is gonna taste good in your oatmeal over your ice cream, in yogurt. This is gonna make an amazing cocktail syrup. Or even just put it in a hot cup of tea for a little sweet extra flavor. I am so pumped about this. Look! Just look at how gorgeous the color is. I mean, it, okay, it actually kind of looks like chicken broth. <laughs> it's beautiful anyway. Um, I'm gonna keep it on the burner. We're just gonna simmer it down till it thickens up a little bit and then we'll pour it into hot jars. If you thought that beautiful syrup had a cool color then, look at it now. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's so lovely. So I added a cup of sugar and then I let this simmer down until it reduced by about half. So it is still liquidy, but it's much thicker than just the juice that it was before. I am going to start canning in the little quarter pint jars uh, because I think those make great gifts. And, you know, you're probably not going to use a whole quart jar of syrup at one time. So I'm going to start with these. And then I have got some jam jars sterilized and cleaned and ready to go in case we have a little extra. So here we go. We are doing it. We filled all six and there's just a teeny tiny bit left in the pot. So I'm going to save that for breakfast tomorrow. Quarter 
pint jars go in the canner for 10 minutes. For most people at my elevation, we're gonna do it for 15. And you can bet I'm gonna do the same thing with the peels tonight, cause this is so good, I want more. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day three of our pear extravaganza. Yesterday resulted in four, almost four pints of pear sauce, which is so crazy yummy. It uh, resulted in six of those little quarter pint jars of spice syrup. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And then last night, I got another batch of syrup going. That's currently simmering down to reduce. In this batch, I'm gonna add honey, ginger, and lemon. Oh, can you imagine it when you're having tea when you're sick? Oh, it's gonna be so good. Anyway, the last 10 pounds or so of pears, we're gonna can up pear butter today. I've never made pear butter. A lot of my followers recommended it, so I found a recipe online and we're just going with it. It sounds an awful lot like just making pear sauce, but we're gonna make it really super duper smooth and we're really gonna cook it down and get it thickened up. So I have already peeled, cored, and chunked up my pears for the day. They're in the pot. We're gonna get them on a burner and start cooking them down. Yee! <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. Good morning, friends. Welcome back to day four of our pear extravaganza. Listen, sometimes things happen on the farm and you got to set aside your canning activities to go take care of the farm. And then also sometimes when you come back to the activities the next day, you forget to hit record. <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> We just skipped corners here, so no magic of editing, but this pan went from chopped pears to cooked down pears to pears that went through the immersion blender. Yeah, and don't they look gorgeous? <laughs> this is what's gonna turn into pear butter. So the next step for us would be to use a food mill to really get this as fine and as strained as we possibly can. So all I do is use my big old strainer and this little doohickey <laughs> has a rounded end which makes it really nice for pushing food through the screen. This is how I make my tomato soups. I use that instead of a food mill. So uh, it works just fine. It works just great. So that's what we're going to start doing this morning. We're going to pour pear butter through my screen and we're gonna get it really nice and thin and fine and then we're gonna put it on the stove to cook even more. Let's do this. And it flows through the bottom. Yeah, I know what this looks like. <laughs> I know exactly. <laughs> it looks like oh see and we found a big chunk in there that didn't get blended down uh, we'll probably find like a seed or two uh, we'll find bits of core that don't break down you know that kind of stuff easy peasy though see it goes fast so honestly I won't buy a food mill until somebody gives me a really good reason to and that's what we have left two chunks of fruit and like gr this is just sort of gritty I know it's a little hard to tell over video but it's just gritty it's a couple of stems pieces of core whatever very nice and now look at how love it's even smoother looks like caramel kinda that's a lovelier image to have in our head it looks like smooth caramel from what I understand this next step involves some babysitting so I'm gonna need to stay by the stove and we're just going to be stirring it and reducing it as much as we can to get it nice and thick more of a soft like country crock butter sort of <laughs> consistency so let's get it over to the burner and let's babysit it ready to get this gorgeous gorgeous pear butter all canned up I don't really know that we're gonna need five from the looks at what's in there we might fill like one two three 
but we'll see. These are washed, sterilized, and they've been hot in the oven just waiting for us. So um, I'm also going to skip the funnel and just do this by a spoon and we'll get them in the water bath canner. We just got five. Five little quarter point jars. Since these are so thick, I'm going to give each jar just a little knock to help settle the contents. Ooh. <laughs> I don't have much feeling left in my fingertips after doing all this canning. But uh, dang, these little suckers. Are still pretty hot. <laughs> Canner is hot and ready. We are set to go. Let's get these little babies inside. And you could process these little buddies at 10 minutes. Because of my elevation, I'm doing 15. See you back in a few. We're cruising right along. We are down to the final thing that we are going to can from that big old bunch of free pears. Now there's one more thing in the making, but I'm going to surprise you and leave that one for the end. But let's get to this last syrup. This is the second batch of syrup that I made up yesterday, and I made it slightly different from the first one. So the first batch was more like desserty, right? I added a little sugar, I added cinnamon, anise, amazing. This one, I decided I wanted different flavors, and so I added honey, lemon juice, and I just added a little bit more ginger. And it is so stinking good. I have a feeling this is just going to be what I add to my cup of tea every morning. And why not? It's amazing. All good things for you. So I'm going to just heat this up, let that last little extra bit of ginger dissolve into the mix, and we'll get it canned up. Syrup just came up to a boil. We're going to turn the burner off and we'll fill up our jars. I'm using jelly jars this time because um, once they're opened, it's likely I'm going to use them frequently and I'll keep them in the fridge. So uh, it looks like I might have enough to fill two. I'm hoping for two, but we'll see. Maybe three. Well, we didn't even quite get enough for two. It's totally okay. We'll just <laughs> can the one and uh, we'll put the other one in the fridge. Probably for some of you, it's sacrilege to just put one jar in your canner. <laughs> I know, I get it. And normally I wouldn't either. I would wait and like have a bunch more stuff, but it's probably going to be at least three days before I have another round of something to can up. So, you know what? The water's already hot. It's not going to take much more energy. One little baby can go right in the canner. For the surprise dish, I decided at the last minute I had to make a crumble. I had six or seven pears left. They looked so good. We had to whip them up, slice them up, get a good crumbly topping, and get them in the oven. I'm going to link the recipe that I use, but I'm also going to throw it in the text. And of course, now that I have canned sliced pears, I can quickly whip up a pear pie or a pear crumble anytime I want to in the future. Yeah, it's freaking great. And just like that, <laughs> only four days and a ton of work later from roughly 32 pounds of free pears that I got, we can break that down into nine pints of sliced pears three and a half pints of pear sauce, five quarter pints of pear butter, six pints of like a uh, sugary dessert pear syrup, and one last half pint of ginger lemon honey syrup. And then of course we made a crumble. All of that, seriously, for 32 pounds of free, free pears. Now a lot of this stuff isn't stuff that you and I might just buy at the store. You can buy pear sauce and pear syrup and pear butter, uh, but a lot of us probably wouldn't very often because it's expensive and inflation is a very real thing. So I wanted to know by the numbers, if I did want to purchase all of this stuff at a store, what would it cost? Da -da -da -da. There it is. <laughs> That's a lot. 
right? And this is also stuff that just makes food yummy. It makes life yummy to have sweet, nutritious foods that are just shelf stable in your house that you can count on anytime. I have found canning to be a lot of fun. I know a lot of you, especially folks kind of in the generation below me, I know you guys are all doing it too, right? We're all feeling the financial pinch. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was fun for you to try. Um, if you're new to canning, welcome. It's a hoot. There are so many great creators out there that will teach you how to do it. And my ways are just my ways. I love you guys. Thanks for all the support. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm going to see you next time, okay? Bye!